Mac 3, or UC CNC. Hello fellow CNC nuts and welcome. Today we're going to be talking about motion controller software. In actual fact about Mac 3 and UC CNC and why I changed to UC CNC. So let's start from the beginning. Not everybody here has their own machine there in the process of building one or knows much about it. So we're going to start from basics. What is our motion controller software? It's basically the brain of the CNC machine. It works out the motion of our gantries for us. It takes that G-code information and turns it into motion driving our stepper motors with whatever protocols they require. Not only that, at the same time it monitors our emergency stop button, our homing switches, our limit switches, takes care of our probing routines and a whole raft of other things. So it's a pretty important part of our machine. Now when it comes to motion controllers, there are a couple around that are favoured by the hobbyists. That would be Mac 3, UC CNC, Mac 4, Linux CNC, and there are a few others out there as well. They all do the same basic job. So for this video, I'm going to concentrate on Mac 3 and UC CNC. And that's because those are the two softwares that I have set up on my machine. Now we're going to look at Mac 3 first. And Mac 3 is what I like to call the jack of all trades. It's a really good software. And it can run a whole range of different motion controllers as well as utilize a parallel port to talk to your stepper motor drivers and breakout boards. And that is a really impressive trick. Now when I say motion controllers, I'm talking about things like this here, a smooth stepper, or this here, a UC300 Ethernet controller. Let's look at parallel ports to start with. Traditionally, CNC machines have been run from the parallel port. You remember parallel ports, they used to connect to your printer back in the day. But these days, it's really difficult to actually find a PC or a laptop that actually has a parallel port. So we've had to move away from those and we've moved on to motion controllers. Now motion controllers are really good because these here actually do quite a bit of work and relieves the processor in your PC from having to do it. All that the PC does is say I want to get from here to here and this here pretty much does the rest of the work for it. It works out the timing pulses required to, and sends the pulses to your stepper motors. It also sends any information that come in from your home switches, limit switches and probes and sends them back to your software as well. So those are sorts of things that the software no longer needs to monitor and send out to your stepper motor drivers. It certainly relieves a lot of processing power off them and allows them to run better. So in that respect, Motion controllers are really good. And not only that, it provides, instead of having one parallel port now, I actually have five of them on this one here, and two of them on this here. But do be wary, not all parallel ports can be used to drive your stepper motors. So that's something to be aware of as well. On here, only two of them can be used to drive my machine. The rest are basically inputs that I can monitor switches and things from, though why I would want to monitor that many things is completely beyond me. So now that you understand what a motion controller is, you begin to understand why you simply can't go down and buy a cheap little USB parallel port adapter and plug it into your PC and have the parallel port you need to run your stepper motors. It doesn't work like that. 
those little adapters will not work. You either need a built-in parallel port or you need a motion controller which gives you external parallel ports. And the motion controller does a lot more than just provide those parallel ports for inputs and outputs. Now Mac 3 is an excellent piece of software. It can handle up to two inbuilt parallel ports or a range of USB or Ethernet motion controller units. Now you can only have one motion controller plugged into Mac 3 at a time. However, each motion controller might have one or more parallel ports built into it. That's why I call it the jack of all trades because it's everything to everyone. It really is an incredible piece of software. So let's now look at UCCNC. Now this software is not the jack of all trades. In actual fact, it's specialized. It only works with its own range of motion controllers. Here I've got my UC300, it'll work with that. It won't work with my smooth stepper or a parallel port. It'll work with a UC400, a UC100. So in that respect, it's a bit limited. But here's one way of looking at it. The people who make the hardware also make the software. So in that respect, it is specialized, but you should get the best compatibility when both the hardware and software are made by the same people. They have that control over it. Now, another advantage of UCCNC is it's a lot cheaper as well. At this time, Mac 3 is selling for 175 US dollars, and UCCNC is selling for only 60 US dollars. So there's a third of the price of Mac 3. But there's a little catch with that. If I buy Mac 3, I can use it to run a dozen of these here, and it'll work really well. But when it comes to UCCNC, the software license is keyed to this particular unit's serial number. So if I have two of these UC devices, I have to buy two licenses. If this goes faulty and I have to replace it, I also have to buy a new uh, UCCNC license. So that's a disadvantage. But the way I look at it is, uh, it's only a third of the price, so I'd have to buy three of these or have three of these go faulty before I was up to the price of Mac 3. Likewise, as a hobbyist, it's more than likely I only have one machine, which I do. So I really only need one license anyway, and only if this goes faulty will I need another. Hopefully that will never happen. But even if it does, I have to buy a second license, then I'm still 60 US dollars or 55 US dollars better off than had I gone out and buy, brought Mac 3. So that's just one big disadvantage. Another advantage though is UCCNC is still under development. It's still being updated on a regular basis. And while I generally don't go uh, looking for updates, I do occasionally update my machine. And that way I get additional features and any bug fixes that are there. Now the problem with Mac 3 is it's end of life. They're no longer developing it anymore. I do believe that recently they did a small update because a Windows 10 update basically broke it and it wouldn't work anymore. But they're not developing it any further. They have moved on to Mac 4 and that's where they're concentrating their effort. Why they're actually still selling Mac 3 I'm not 100% sure. Maybe somebody can enlighten me. I imagine it's probably because Mac 4 may perhaps not be there yet. Or maybe Mac 4 just doesn't do parallel ports. I, I don't honestly know. So let's address the first question. If I'm building a new machine from scratch, don't have any components, what do I recommend? Mac 3 or UCCNC? Now this is a no-brainer, this one. I recommend UCCNC. Why do I say that? Well, UCCNC software is 60 US dollars, and the motion controller 
the cheapest one that they make is the UC100, it's a USB device, just plug it into your PC, 110 US dollars. That's 170 US dollars for your motion controller and UC CNC license. Compare that to $175 for Mac 3 uh, license, and then unless you're using the parallel ports on your PC, and good luck finding one with them, then uh, you still have to go out and buy a motion controller. And for which you're going to pay at least another $100 or more just for that. Now, I also did a bit of searching around, and I found the UC100 bundled with the UC CNC license for $165. So that's $10 cheaper than Mac 3. And also, I found the UC400, which will give you two parallel ports and it's controlled via Ethernet rather than USB, which I prefer personally, for 209 US dollars at the time of this video. So uh, it also pays to shop around, find the best deal, look for bundles. But even then, at $209 compared to $175, and probably still having to go out and pay another $100 for a motion controller if you go for Mac 3, it clearly makes sense that UCC is the way to go and you're not buying something that's already obsolete. So the next question I get asked is, should I upgrade from Mac 3 to UCCNC? Now let me start by saying, and it's a personal opinion here, it's not really an upgrade, it's simply a change from one control software to another. And my answer is always the same. What are you going to gain by changing it? Um, are you having trouble with Mac 3 that you think moving to UCCNC will resolve? Is uh, there features in UCCNC that uh, Mac 3 don't provide? There could be a whole raft of personal reasons you want to change, and all of them perfectly fine. Personally, to me anyway, I don't think it's really worth it as such. I don't really notice any difference between one and the other, and I'm perfectly happy to use either. But that's my personal opinion. Don't let me stop you from changing. But do bear in mind, you do have to have a UCCNC motion controller to go with the software, because if you don't have that, you then have to go out and buy one of those motion controllers as well so that you can use the software. So that's one thing to bear in mind if you want to change. So of course, none of this answers the question of why did I change from Mac 3 to UCCNC, especially having just gone through and told you that I really didn't see the point. Well, the story goes like this. Because I live in New Zealand, getting a replacement motion controller if my uh, smooth stepper crapped out was going to take two or three weeks by the time it came from overseas. So I decided I'd get a spare unit. And rather than going for another smooth stepper, I decided I'd go for the UC300 Ethernet controller, which was just new out at the time. And because of that, they were giving away free licenses with it. So I ended up with a license for UCCNC. If it hadn't been for that, I wouldn't have given it a try. I'd have quite happily plotted on with Mac 3 because it works really well with it. But having tried it, I found it wasn't too bad. And then Jerry from the CNC Woodworker came along and offered me a copy of his 2017 screen set. And that just made UCCNC that much better. It's a much cleaner screen to work with. It just improves the thing our site and makes things a lot easier to use. So I decided at that stage I would keep using UCCNC because basically I liked it. But personally, I wouldn't have gone out of my way to buy a license to change from Mac 3 because Mac 3 also works really well for me. And that's basically how I ended up sticking with UCCNC. If anybody is interested in that screen set, um, have a look at uh, Jerry's website. Uh, I'll put a link in the description box below. And uh, it's well worth having a look. It makes, makes it so much easier to use UCCNC. Anyway, that's my personal opinion. Well, that about wraps it up for this episode. I hope you've enjoyed it. Maybe learn something new. Of course, these could simply be the ravings of uh, a deranged imagination. 
All that remains me to do is to thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and check out my website to www.cncnuts.com. In the meantime, I'll catch you guys later. Cheers.